Oh, back at the shrine. Cool. Let's go explore the shrine a bit. Uh, oh, Ramu's storehouse. Anything in here? Anything in here? Nope, nothing here. Not even a slicker is to be found. Man, I could have sworn I parked my shrine here, man. I can't find it. Maybe, maybe it's in like the second floor or something. We need to find it. Oh, what's this? What's that? I think that's a recovery point. Okay, so let's take a look at the menu here. So, we have four options here. First one is to equip our dudes. We have equipments here and shikigamis. So it looks like here this is a weapon slot, this is a shield slot, this is an armor slot, this is an accessory slot. And this is where your shikigamis are equipped on your character, so you can have up to three shikigamis on each of your characters. So yeah, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay, so you have levels. Now, you have HP and MP. Now, from what I understand, these are the stats. On the left column, you have strength. Vitality, Agility, Dexterity, Intelligence, and Luck. I think that's Luck, yes. Then on the second hand column you have Physical Attack Power, Physical Defense Power, Magic Defense Power, Accuracy, Evasion, and Status Resistance. Then over here you have your, resi your Elemental Resistances, so you have Fire, Ice, Earth, Lightning, Light, dark, and magic or mystic elements. I'm going to call it the magic element from here on in. Then you have slash, pierce, and blunt weapon attributes here. And for some reason, there's also levels for each of these things, and I'm not quite sure what this is yet. So then you have equipable attacks here, and you have a last word. So what happens if you press Y? That does something, I don't know. But you press L and R, you can change between your characters. So you have a Marissa, and we have a Yomo. Now, what does Kamachi do? Let's take a look. Kamachi. Okay, so you have a secondary effect here. Something about increasing the chance of instant death by 33%, I think. I think that's what it says. It either increases chance of instant death attacks working by 33%, or increases your resistance against instant death attacks by 3 or 3%. Either way, I'm not quite sure. Someone's probably going to correct me on that. But as you can see here, we have a table for your Shikigamis. Each one takes up one slot. And as you can see, there's going to be a lot of slots and a lot of pages. Now, the thing about Shikigamis in this game is that they will actually... When you equip a Shikigami, that will give you stats. As you can see, Kamata gives 4 HP, 3 strength, one vitality, one agility, two dexterity, one intelligence, and two luck, and one MP. And Shikigamis also come equipped with various attacks. So if we take a look here, we have some sort of attack here and some sort of attack here. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what they are, but I'll go for in battles. And Letty here, this is Ice Chill, a single target ice attack. And Minoriko has heals. So Lady here increases your resistance to ice, it becomes a circle. And over here, Minoriko increases the effectiveness of healing type abilities by 10%. And we have two healing abilities here. Now, with all of that sort of free, I'm going to ch change things up a bit. So my Ramu has Kamachi, and my Yomu has Minoriko, which have which has the healing stuff. Something tells me that Yomu should be the one with the instant death attacks. So I'm going to switch that around. So now my Yomu has the Kamachi and my Remy has the healing stuff. Makes sense? Good. So what's the second slot do? Second slot shows you all of the items that you currently have. So as you can see here, we don't have a lot of anything. Third option is formations. Now what I really like about this game is that they on this screen here that will show you each individual character in the formation as well as the type of stats that they increase or decrease as well as the extent as you can see by this bar here. So in this formation here everyone gains a speed increase. So this is increase for the last three characters here. First two characters here is speed. 
So I'm going to put Randall in the front and Marissa in the back, just because I can. Now we can actually go start this bloom game for once. Let's go! Man, that's probably taken up like 20 minutes already. That's like the first video done. Jesus. Alright, big, big hint. Okay, so this game doesn't have a save function, but when you open the menu using the X button, and then you close it, it automatically saves the game. So if you go into the menu and then close it, it saves the game. Cool. So let's go into our first battle here, shall we? We have some fuzzy balls. So A is, a is to initiate the um, battle, B is to get rid of the um, user interface, so you just leave with the um, just the stuff on the screen if you want to take screenshots or whatever. X is to display stats. And as you can see here, we also have a species um, for each of the enemies or characters in the game. So you're a wizard, you're a wizard, you're a warrior, you're some kind of yokai, I believe. So we have some fuzzballs. And L, L plus R, I believe, is to run away from the fight, obviously. Once again, Genius of Sapphiros introduced the land the land mechanic for each of the elements. It is the same thing in this game. I'll explain this at a later date when it becomes relevant. And we also have a um, turn counter here. So the first turn is one. So that's kind of nice, especially for boss fights. So as you can see here, we have a Marissa. So you can select attack with your weapon to whack things with your broom. You can also press L R to switch to your Shikigami attacks. And we have Ice Chill here. So let's go use Ice Chill on one of these dudes. And let's have Reimu whack away at Fuzzball and Yomu can whack away at... Now you know what, I'm going to use Komachi. So this is... This attack here is a... It's a physical... It's a um, attack that's based on attack power, and it's a dark element. This is it's called Dark Hand. So it's a dark elemental um, attack, which is based on physical power. It uses up to the MP. This attack here has a chance to cause instant death, right there. But that takes up 14 MP, which is ridiculous. And Yomo, my Yomo only has 15 MP, so I'm going to use Dark Hand for this dude. Burp. What was that? Did Yoma just get her last word charge? Oh, too bad you're not going to see it. Sad face. <laughs> oh, speaking of which... I have no idea what this last word is. That's obviously Master Spark. That's Slash of Eternity. Oh, cool. Okay, so let's go meet up with the next battle. We have some Dosey Boots. 10 HP. You're not going to last very long at all. Die. And die. You dodged. How dare you? Do 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 do. Gonna level up my turbos and my shitty gammies. Um, I'm going to look around here really quickly. Make sure there's no hidden chests around here. Good. Oh, there's another giant hint bubble. Oh, hello, Mr. Guy. Go away. Oh. Oh. Okay. Did you see the screen flash red like it did just then? That is a critical critical hit. So we have that going on again in Genius of Sapphiros. And once again in this game, this is talking about the minimap, which is located in the bottom right hand corner here. You can remove the minimap by pressing the select button. So if you press the select button, it gets rid of the minimap, as you can see. Well, that's useful, I suppose. Hey there, guy. You're, you're a bit stuck there, aren't you? Well, too bad. You're going to stay there forever and ever. And ever. Oh, hello. It's Mr. Goosey Dude. You have 20 HP. I'm going to use my Ice Chill on you. Blech. Put your pew. And pew. Ah. I love the early game because it makes all the battles very easy. And it looks like we've got our first item. We have a robe. Now, in Genius to Sapphiros, you could not actually have access to these items until you exited the dungeon. Cannot actually equip stuff here. Oh my god, I actually can. Okay, so this robe gives me four physical defense. Check. Zero evasion. One magic defense. Yep. 
And zero status resist. Yep. Um, sure, let's put that on, because my Ramu was on the front lines and she needs more defense. Because she's the healer, and healers always need more defense, otherwise they're going to die very quickly, and if they die they can't heal, because they'd be dead. Hence why getting defense on a healer, probably a good idea. And we have what appears to be some kind of bamboo pole, and attached to the line is a lamp. And coming from the lamp is a freaking candle. Okay. <laughs> These enemies are so weird. Oh well, whatever. I'm having fun. That's all that matters to me. Oh, and it looks like after you finish a battle, I think what happens is that the enemies on screen actually freeze momentarily. So unlike in some other games, Cough Cough Gems is a Sephiros, where you continuously go into the battle and then immediately go into the next battle if that enemy's right there, you actually have time to try to run away. Which is nice, I suppose. Then again, I may be incorrect on that. I haven't played Genius of Sephiros in ages. And we have a buckler. So let's check this out. Um, let's put this on Rainbow as well. I suppose she is the healer. Okay. So, this shield gives you 4 defense, and it has a 50% chance of activation. Now what this means is that during battles, every time Ramu gets attacked, it has a 50% chance of the shield activating, and when it's activated, it adds 4 defense to the character. Right? Got that? Good. Very simple. Let's go into more battles. Oh my god, it's a bat. It's a bat. Kill the bats. Kill all the freaking bats. Kill the bats. Because the bats are fast. Life suck. Ice chill, one bat down. And that bat is left for one HP. Thank you, game. Now, if you haven't noticed by now, your HP is healed after every battle, so you always suck the battle with full HP. However, MP does not recover. So it's pretty much like Genius of Sapphros, except. There's no lives and bombs counter in this game. So that's very great, I suppose. Pop. And pop. Where is that from? I don't know. But yeah, I just realized that the music playing in this area is actually, um, what was it? Embodiment of Scarlet Devil Stage 1? I believe that's what it was. I'm going to have to take another listen. But, in, I'm not going to lie, the music for the... <laughs> oh, okay, so what's the deal here? Master Spark costs zero MP. So then, da, 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 it is a magic elemental attack. Mighty base power. Oh, let's go. How do I defend in this game? No, that's not defend. I want to defend. I think you have to press Y to defend. Yeah, you have to press Y to defend. It says Y to defend there. Y and Y. Master Super! Oh, wow. Huh. I was expecting the Master Spark to be way bigger than that, but yeah, it works, I suppose. That's kind of cool. Gotta see what the other last ways do though. Which of the mouse goes to get back up there? More battles! Nice chill. The fuzzball. You attack that, you attack that. I'm just, I'm just enjoying myself here. Got a nice fresh new game to record and share with all you people at home and it's way less stressful than Genius of Sapphiros or way, way, way less stressful than Divine Shrine Maiden and, well, it's more challenging than Kirby Mass Attack so, you know, it's like that nice happy medium that I've been looking for this entire time Nice chill that guy, bop and bop I really don't like these bats, they're way too fast and bop, you missed you both miss. You, you, you all suck. You should be ashamed for missing a freaking bat. I mean, bats are freaking blind, man. They can't even see you coming. Can they dodge? 
Oh, right, because I have supersonic hearing. So I've got some bits of rocks here, some flowers growing. It's a nice area to be in. So this is just outside of uh, the Hakurei Shrine. It's kind of nice. I'll do the party pop because I'm running out of MP on my Marissa. I need to conserve some MP in case I run into something dangerous. That's the first area. I should not be running into anything dangerous, right? I'll be fine. Any hidden chests over here? Doesn't look like it. Ooh, there's four enemies here. Pop. <sighs> These battles start to get repetitive. Oh, last word. I'm going to spark something in the face. Ugh. Slash of eternity and random last word. Oh, well, what does this last word do? Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so it recovers um, HP for your entire party to full and is extremely fast. That's actually, actually nice to know. So I'm going to spark this guy, I'm going to heal everyone up, and I'm going to use Slash of Eternity on everything else. So what does Slash of Eternity do? Slash of Eternity attacks an enemy six times and it has a, a very low power. <laughs> Very low arm um, damage modifier or something. Let's see what it does. Round it goes first. Ooh, that looks pretty. 1000 HP, oh my goodness, that's a lot. Master Spark got a bit chopped off there. <laughs> Slash of Eternity! Oh, dude, that looks cool. That was cool. These cool effects in the game, in for the battles, they're very nice. I like it. Oh, looks like we got a recovery point down there too. Let's go investigate after I battle this guy. Die. 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 I'm having so much fun. Do do. Do 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 do. And recovery point. Think. Save. Oh. Well, if there's a red portal to the next area, one would assume it is some kind of boss battle. What did she say? Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. So let's go investigate the boss. Who is our first boss for the game? It is... Mako and... Rumia? That's an odd pairing. Hey there, Rumia and Mako. How do you do? Hello. I am a Rumia. And even in spirit form, I'm still a Rumia. Yeah, what is up with you two being paired up? That's really, really odd. Thank you for asking, Marissa. And I don't know what that says. Something, something, something. So, it looks like Mako is trying to figure out what the heck is going on, and Remy is just tagging along for the ride, I suppose. And then Remy is like, hmm. Could it be you guys that caused all of this? And Ram is like, what? Hell, no you did not just accuse me after my shrine just got hijacked. Yeah, that's right, you heard me. My goddamn shrine, that giant huge building where I freaking live, just up and away and disappeared. I don't know what happened to it. You, can, you, you just can't explain that. You just can't. You just can't explain that. I'm sorry. And you're accusing me of being the one behind all of this? You're going down, let's go. And the game is telling me you can use Eleanor to switch to your Shikigamis. Well, gee, Mako, known for being like the Phoenix holder or whatever, say fire, so she's probably going to be weak to ice attacks. Rami is just going to bonk Rumi up. Yeah, let's bonk Rumi on the head. And Yamu can go... well, I can't use that because Rumi is probably immune to die. So I'm just going to bonk her on the head. Bonk. Oh wow, you're really weak to ice attacks. Heat to handle. I have no idea what that status effect just did, but that caused the Scorch status effect. I think that's a quick status effect. And I can heal, but I don't need to. I'm just going to whack Rumia on the head. And I'm going to bonk Rumia on the head. Oh no, it's Dark Hand. How dare you. And Mako is down. 
And if you just notice that the numbers when Mokoga hit by the ice attack were different, that indicates that you hit the um, target um, weak point, so to speak. So they were fairly weak to that element. And my Marissa almost died, but no, Rumia, you ain't going to take my Marissa down. So it looks like we got level 2 on all my dudes. So we've got some nice stat ups for everyone, which is nice. And my Reimu, and my Yomu, as well as my Shikigami's level up too. But as you can see here, not all of the stats go up. So you have to be very wary of that. Shikigami's will have stats concentrated in various areas. So you're going to have to pick to the right Shikigami for the right character. Minoriko and Kamachi leveled up. Fantastic. Well, what's, it, what's this about? Something about Yomu leveling up her ability. I believe that's Slash. So... That was weird. I'm going to have to check the status screen later. Anywho, looks like we got ourselves a Mako and a Rumia. They're going to be added to our team, and then we're going to totally own up everyone else in the area. And then we will get larger and larger like a blob, and then if anyone wants to come fight us, they can't because we're the blob, you're not allowed to touch the blob. If you touch the blob, you're going to become the blob. And this blob's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's just going to consume the entire world of Gensokyo. It'll be covered in Toho Blobs. Yes, that is right. Toho Blobs. Let's go. Mako has been added to the party. Rivia is now a Shikigami as well added to the party. Oh, a hint. Hello. Hint. You can substitute Shikigamis on your characters with other Shikigamis. Yada yada yada. Cool. Well, let's take a look at Mako. So, Mako's last word is... I don't know. <laughs> but if I had to guess, it's probably reviving a character that has been knocked out in battle. Basing this on Genius of Zephyrus, I say. And oh my god, Mako's physical defense is at one. Her magic defense is at one. So she's literally like a freaking physical glass cannon. Oh, that's kind of neat. What do we have on Arimia? Arimia, blah blah blah. Um, I believe that's Moonlight Ray. I want to check, but I can't because I can't do it here. But I'm pretty damn sure that's Moonlight Rain. Oh, Rumia's passive is increases dark resistance. Cool. So I need to check on the Yomos. What? Yomo leveled up in something. What was it? That's about the same. Oh, right here. The slash ability leveled up to level one instead of zero. What does that mean? Honestly, I have no freaking idea. I'm going to have to check the manual or something later on. Or someone may tell me, who knows. Oh, hello. Oh no, it's a slime. From what I remember, slimes are very, very, very resistant to physical attacks. So I'm going to have to blast them with the magic. Let's go. Yep, weak to ice. Oh, Rambo leveled up her blunt, blunt type ability. Cool. Okay. Um, got a rock here. Push the rock out the way. All right. I think I'm going to end the recording for today. It's been probably half half an hour by now. Any hidden chests here? No. 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 Good. So I haven't missed anything yet so far. Back to recovery point. Save the game. All right. This is Chef MKT. Playing Toho Genso Maroku, the Devil of Decline. I'll see you guys next time.